Welcome back and um, previous videos I have shown you how to um, create a sample Android application and also a tour through Android Studio okay a tour through Android Studio and um, today I'm going to um, show you about the um, server of the tools here and especially how to create Android virtual device and run our application so let's just start from few of the main important buttons in inside this toolbar so the first one here is the software development kits and I think you know, I already explained to you about what software development kits and um, APIs um, and how to select the minimum version of API okay last time we already um, shown you okay um, they are API they are libraries for us to use use to develop um, 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 Android application and in the Android devices the Android operating system must have corresponding libraries like this in order to um, run our application too so from this one you'll see that um, we have several of the tools and library that we already installed and some of them not yet okay you can select to install the one that we need Okay. Um, inside here, you'll see several of the important one that we already use, which is the um, uh, this one, Android SDK Platform Tools, which is version twenty one. Okay, so it's, it's the most important one. Okay, and then that one is it. You can install further um, 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 libraries, let's say from Google Ad Mob Ads SDK, so on and so forth. Okay. Then we're going to close this one. Another one is Android Device Monitor, and we're going to um, um, access to this one later. Okay, I'm gonna go straight to this one, which is the AVD Manager. Okay, AVD Manager. So what is that AVD Manager? So we're going to. I'm gonna show you. So in order to run an Android application, there are several approaches. Um, the first approach is um, you can use physical device. Okay, physical device. Okay, or you can use your real physical device. And um, if you um, want to um, run this real physical device for modern um, devices, normally you have to enable developer options. Okay, I can show you um, how to enable developer options here, but it's gonna take me uh, some time. Uh, you can just go search. Android physical device how to enable developer option. There will be a lot of tutorial available online for you so if you use physical device okay um, another option for SD is you can install you can install a um, virtual box okay um, virtual box okay or um, um, you can use VMware or other things okay then from that you install your Android studio um, Android operating system in in this virtual machine virtual box okay and run Okay, you can use this approach. You can use this approach. Okay, uh, then um, um, another common option is you can use Android. Okay, you can use emulator, and this one is called Android Virtual um, Virtual Device. Okay, this one is uh, um, simulator, electronic simulator. Okay, running inside our computer. So I want to sh quickly show you uh, if you run physical device is the best approach, okay? But um, it's kind of like um, limited in 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 um, um, number of devices that you could create that you could test, but it have the real feeling, okay? And it is true. If you use VMware, somehow it's good because it has better performance, okay? And uh, close to close to not real but close to um, 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 physical device, but still limited in features. Okay, but another approach is using emulator with uh, reason reasonably um, good numbers of features, and most of the time that is sufficient for our needs. Okay, uh, with few uh, limitations in features only. But this one normally it has one which limitation is that it's slow. Okay, it is slow. Okay, it is slow, very slow. Okay, then um, beside limited uh, limited uh, limited of feature, it's it's very slow. So when you test your device, you, you know, to um, you need to make sure uh, that you know before releasing, you should test with one of the physical devices. Okay, but then this emulator is very good thing. Okay, for us to test because you can create um, multiple um, types of devices. Okay, you can uh, customize the screen resolution. You can customize the processing powers. Okay, customize the um, RAM, so on and so forth. Okay, 
so this one is very convenient especially um, when we have android studio the performance of the um, emulator now is reasonably accepted that's why that's why um, um uh, in um this time um, it's easier for us um, easier for me to um, 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 um give instruction or to teach we will use android studio um, android studio with emulator so so um, before using the um, emulator um, or the avd we need to create it so how to create an avd you're going to click on this button okay this one is avd manager okay AVD manager and from here I have created server of the AVD already okay, AVD already that I'm going to create a, a, a virtual device you can select a range of different types of devices okay and I'm gonna choose let's say Nexus number five here or yep Nexus number five here and you can um, develop uh, the um, emulator for tablet for where for televisions for phone and this time I'm gonna choose for phone and this one is the screen resolution of the the screen resolution of the phone okay then you're going to click next okay and then you can choose the um, 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 API or the library to be executed inside that phone okay um, um, sorry you're gonna choose the operating system together with API lever to be running on that simulator and this time i choose the um, version 21 api version 21 okay then we'll do next then this one um it is nexus 5 api let's say um ncc for anyone can code okay anyone can code okay then we're going to um, um you can show advanced setting and set some other um, advanced setting as well like change the uh, screen resolution change the other things okay then that are there is another option which is um to use host gpus is graphic um, graphical processing units of the host uh, which is our um, um system here this mac so it's gonna process the um graphics faster okay and then there is another option which is um, um to um, use store a snapshot of the device but the thing is you could use only one of the option you cannot use two of the option at the same time you can see this one okay so you can unselect this one so if you store a snapshot for a faster startup okay then then um how to say um, um uh, your um information of your device when running Okay, it will be saved into the hard disk okay, when it's closed. Okay, then for next startup, it's gonna load that safe information. It's gonna be a lot faster. Uh, somehow for my system, if I choose this option, okay, uh, you know, it's it's it, uh, kind of uh, the device is kind of difficult to start up. So it's stored for faster faster startup, but then it it doesn't work. Okay, so it's even never start at all. So for mine, I need to choose this one. You can test to choose this option. Okay, I didn't um, um, check out um, what is going on with this one yet. Okay, so so far just choose this option because I see so far the startup is reasonably accepted. So we're gonna create finish. Okay, I'm gonna create finish. And it's gonna take us a while to, um, 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 how to say, take us a while to, to create this um, um, AVD. And after creating this AVD, we are gonna how to say, okay, um, we are going to uh, let's say you're going to be able to um, um, we're going to be able to um, run it. Okay, uh, let's us get back to this one and see. Um, okay, so Nexus Five and CC for anyone can code is here. So we'll see several of the configuration of it. Okay, you can see several of the configuration of it. So we're going to click on um, this button to run, or you can click on this button to edit it again. Now I'm going to click on this one to run, and it's starting my AVD. Okay, starting my AVD. Okay, now um, after waiting for a while, you're going to see this one already, and it is now open. So you're going to be able to drag this up, click on this, okay, for the first time we open it. Okay, now it is started. Okay, this one is the emulator for our device. 
Okay, and um, remember that this device has several of the power of phone features. Like if you have two devices running together, okay, you can send SMS from one to another. You can make a call from one to another by um, knowing the phone number is here. Okay, this one is the phone number of the device. Let's say five 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 four is the phone number of this simulator. So you can uh, have several of the features. Then you can even rotate the screen um, um, orientation by pressing Control, Control and F12, Control and F12. You can switch the screen orientation here. Okay, the screen orientation. See, Control F12 again. Okay. Um, then um, we get back to this one, and we're going to click on our terminal. Okay, at the terminal you can check um, um ADB devices again and you'll see that at least of the devices attached to this environment right now we have our device which is emulator okay then now uh, we have our phone ready okay we're going to um, um, try to run this application we're going to try to run this application so we are going to design for Nexus 5 and CC you can change this one so it's gonna design for that kind of device then um, we're gonna collapse this one I'm going to click on this one to have a wider screen and the next one is to run it if you click on this one is to run the application okay and you see Grutter is executing task which is the debugger okay I have some resource um, 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 errors let us okay it's showing the um, uh, passing exam not well from Oh, probably this one we probably we made some so this do control I control all I okay save format that file okay probably um, last time when I put open this one and I mess it up okay let's just click on run again okay let's just click on run again and see um, now Grutter is executing the task okay Grutter is executing the task okay okay um, and um, you see this one will show up for us to choose the um, emulator that was running okay this one show up or you can just launch another um, other uh, emulators here but when I choose this running one so we don't have to run again click on okay okay you'll see the run now device shell comments okay you'll see the run now and we're going to and this one is a low cut Okay, this one is a look at. So look at is important um, to to look the information from our applications. So you can see this one. Okay, see this one. It's pretty fast. It's fast enough. Okay, you see that our apps is shown up here. Okay, hello world. Okay, our app is shown up here on the device as hello world here. Okay, now um, if you click run once more, okay, it's going to show up that you know it's gonna show up the dialog again. Okay, uh, you can. Uh, we're gonna cancel because we're running. Um, you can. Um, so you can change this one. Okay, so this one is the configuration of the um, app. This is a comment of running this project as an app. And you can click on this one and edit configuration. So you can choose the app configuration when you run it. Okay, when you run it, and you can um, change several of the um, um, configuration for the run. So we're going to choose, let's say, fixed emulator and that emulator is list of emulator we created here and I'm going to choose this emulator which is our emulator Nexus 5 API 21 anyone can code here okay apply click on OK so next time we run it's gonna run directly okay it's gonna run directly but anyway this one is here already so we um, don't have to do anything the next one is beside running I'm gonna show you how to stop this one using Android Studio so from Android Studio you can have the tone windows let's just click on this one which is the Android tones from here you have the devices and here is our Nexus 5 which is our device and it has many uh, processes we are running and processes are identified by the package name by its package name and we already um, explained about this package name about the um, first video when we create the um, application so we're going to look for our um, 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 process which is this one so you'll see from here that it was here and right now I'm going to click on this one to stop it okay click on this one to stop it and then you see from here it is already stopped okay it is already stopped so if you click on this one to run it again 
okay click on that one to run it again and it is here again the another way for you to stop the running um, 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 device is you can use this one okay you can use the Android device monitor this one is another tools um, 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 that um, uh, Android provides to this one is another important um, tool windows Android providers and uh, let's just get back to this one and go click on DDM okay as a default one not the hierarchy view so this one is does provide us the look at as well to get all the looks from the device okay to get all the look from this device because it's a device look anything from here then you have the console as well then uh, the important point I'm, I'm, I'm about to show you which is okay I'm about to show you which is mm, this one is also list of all the uh, this one is your device our device and this is also a list of all the processes running inside the application uh, running inside the device and here is our hello world okay and um, we will uh, learn about this Android device monitor later because I'm focusing on stopping the debugging or running application so you can click on this one okay and click on stop here okay click on stop here and it will not execute inside your our application anymore okay it will not execute in our application anymore okay then how to say um, that's it okay that's it that's it for us to um, how to say um, run an um, um, how to um, um, create the Android virtual device okay and run the application and run the application in the next video we're going to start learning about Android operating system okay and um, 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 uh, go deep into Android applications okay Android applications okay